I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies and today I want to talk about difference between spin wings and plastic veins. Now generally for recurve archery spin wings are the go-to vein. They create lots of rotation in the air, they create less wind drift because the profile is actually lower and the spinning creates more stability. Now at the Olympics basically every recurve archer shoots spin wings and that means when you go to your local club everyone's shooting spin wings. Now I shot the state tournament last weekend and I set up a set of spin wing veins and I shot terrible. Now I'm not blaming the spin wing veins and that's what, I might, that's what this video may seem like I'm doing but I'm actually not. But since I came back from there I said I'm going to work out what, what went wrong with my shooting. Now I shouldn't have changed my arrows before the tournament but I was shooting 90 meters I was worried about wind drift and I got told spin wings create less drag in the air so basically for 90 meters which I don't normally shoot I'm best to go to spin wings so I went to spin wings and I shot terrible my 30 meters was terrible so I came home I thought well I've got to look at this so what I've done these are my plastic veins here this is my spin wings and I've done this video before and I went and this is what my group looked like before and I went you know it's not very fair because I shot three ends 12 arrows in each, each target and I found this result every time I thought that's not fair let's keep doing that for the rest of this week shoot hundreds and hundreds of arrows and let's just see if it's my brain if it's me why this is occurring now I've shot this morning I've shot three three ends of 24 and this is my last end I've just shot now you see my spin wings and this is very much the pattern I'm getting my spin wings are very much on this side of the target and my plastic veins are very much in the middle now I'm getting that consistently and I'm not sure why but what I'm seeing is the groups with the spin wings are nowhere near as good as the plastic veins so in so in all the ends I've shot over the past week and I've been shooting morning and night how many times does the spin wings, and I'm shooting this, always this, I'm shooting my spin wings one target, plastic veins are the other. How often does my spin wings beat my plastic veins? I don't think they ever have. And in fact, my grouping is so poor that it, that it kind of suggests to me that the spin wings were contributing to my poor form. Now, I'm not blasting spin wings because I think spin wings are the way to go. Because like this shooting here, I've got one eight, all the rest are in the gold. Now that's that's pretty good for me. That's you know, at the state championships at indoor that would have won me the championship, shooting like that. This would have got me last. And that's basically where I'm out up to. I'm up to first last. So when you change your arrows, make sure you test before and after. Because you don't want to switch your arrows and go, well I've just taking a step backwards so my reasoning for the spin wing shooting poorly now I've shot spin wings before and I've had success with spin wings I shot spin wings for clout and they shot perfectly fine so I've got two theories with spin wings one I put them on really poorly which I probably did I putting spin wings on arrows just does my head in it these spin wings probably took me two hours to two hours to fletch these plastic veins probably took me 20 20 minutes to fletch um, so that could be one reason and I have tried to mark my offline arrows with the spin wings to see if it is the odd arrow but I really can't pick it I mean I do have some grouping but the like the stretch the width wise is is bigger with the spin wings the up and downs bigger it's just not grouping as well now part of my reasoning with this is these veins are three inches long and these spin wings a one and three quarter inches long so I think I'm getting more stability out of the plastic vein and that's because I'm a poor shot so if I'm an Olympic archer and I'm a good shot these are probably gonna work okay for them because they're coming out quickly so I've got two theories I'm not sure which one it is so to test that theory I could try spin wings which are longer to see if they shoot better um, but at the moment I've got a state championship in two to three weeks I'll be shooting plastics that's it with the spin wings for me as far as shooting comps until I can get scores which exceed my plastic veins so 
yeah it's not necessarily a jump from one to the other um, and go well spin wings are going to be better and I've got a, a kid down at um, what the local club I shoot at shoots spin wings and I saw the way he sticks his veins on and they're horrible it's like and he shoots a lot he's got nice gear and it's like and I look at this group because he pretty much shoots like this and I'm not not dishing him because he's a really nice guy he shoots like this and I'm like his his technique is actually better than this his technique is probably more like this but his results are more like that and it could be the spin wings that he stuck on his veins so before you jump to something because everyone else does it make sure the results are there because it may be the release isn't as good and maybe you didn't stick them on as well I don't know but I know for me this is not as good as that and I've shot probably how many ends of each at least 40 50 and and I have had a couple of good ends with spin wings right but they have not been as good as this they haven't been as tight and I've still shot off liars so I've shot blues with the spin wings I haven't shot any blues with the plastic veins so for me it's just chalk and cheese this is me shooting poorly this is me shooting good so don't let the spin wings or different veins or other people influence your direction with the sport make sure when you change that's a change for the good even points these points are 110 grain which I just changed from 120 so my next step will be to shoot a group of these with 120s and then another group of these at 110 and what you're gonna say is well I don't have the money to buy lots of dozen arrows and that's a fair point but the plastic veins are pretty cheap you can rip off them and do six arrows with each um, but for a lot of people they spend a lot of time shooting and the cost of a dozen arrows let's just say well the victories that I'm shooting here is about $200 a dozen made now if you're putting lots of time into your sport like that tournament I shot was an entire day of my life um, to get poor results out of it's just disappointing because I didn't feel like I was shooting that bad and effectively that tournament could have cost me the state championship I mean I've still got to see how I got state field because I can if I beat the other two archers because we're on a three-way tie I come to win but if any of those beat me then they win the state championship and it basically would be a year when I say a year of lost training it's, it's it would be a disappointment for me but that's life um, I don't know how it's going to go um, back to this get the arrows right make sure you're you're comfortable with what you're doing as far as the veins you're shooting because they didn't work for me I'm just lucky I've got two sets of arrows I'm trying the different arrows and I'm trying stuff with victory um, but that difference is huge for me um, so yeah so I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies um, spin wings these are impulse veins from boning um, I have tried um, other veins the wave I have tried a just the basic a veins and they work fine I've shot the same scores with the a veins as these impulse so yeah so some of it is not the veins so it could be the way it's stuck on but I'm just getting good results with these impulse and they're sticking on the shafts really really well so hope that's helped you and thanks for watching bye